Come here, give me that. Pete! Pete! Give me my glove. Pete! We're out here in the middle of the Jornado del Muerto. For some reason, I just enjoy this country. Agnes wants her butt scratched. I wanted to go to the mountains back off this way about 25 miles where the bighorn sheep were and everything, but there's a bighorn sheep hunt that just started yesterday. So, you know, those, that's a very, uh, that's a hard to draw deal. And I don't want to be in there and messing with somebody who's trying to kill a sheep. And I, uh, I had a guy call me and I, and I shared that, that picture of that big ram I had that they're going to go after that ram. I showed him where I'd seen, I've seen him two times and I, I, I sent him a map showing where I'd seen him. So hopefully they'll get him appreciate that I turned them on to them. I'm really getting where I like this system from uh, Mountain Ridge gear. You can kind of just keep everything together. And I like to take it off my saddle and put it on every time but it seems to be holding up well and it holds a lot of stuff a lot more than i carry most of the time wish there was a better way to connect it to your saddle i think they could use some more of those nylon these little straps and, I, and i'll probably modify it to do that but right now i just use my tie strings on my saddle it holds it all right i want it set up further underneath that cannel Oh no! Oh no, no! Yeah! Come on, guys. Oh, she looks like. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Over here, Betty. Sheila Puppy. You ready for your necklace? Hey, hey, Sheila, Sheila. You got ADD. P. Oh, there's Jazz. Hello, Jazz. Come here, Jazz. Jazz, come here. Oh, yeah. Okay, P. Come here, P. P, P, P. Come here, P. Look, girl, mama. Finally getting to get away from your babies a little bit. Mother's Day out, huh? Hey, sissy. Good oh, girl. Come here, sissy. Come here, Jazz. That's real loose. How'd that get loose? Who are we missing? Oh, booger. I don't feel as bad about packing a lot of stuff on Agnes because she's a big old stout mule. With Jed, I always kind of worried because, you know, he wasn't that big and I'm a big guy. Agnes can handle it. See, look at him. That's a happy mule right there. All right, boys, here we go. There's a truck way down there. I don't know how a guy can trail in. I mean, I've trailed in this before. This old lava rock covered with grease wood. Can be easy for the hounds, though. It's, but, I think I said it in another video, but this is a good place to go to get away from the, the other hunters or the yahoos out riding their four-wheelers or whatever on a weekend. I know of two lions that have been taken out or right around here. One I took, another a caller took, 
Oh, three lines. There's one about 15 miles north of here that I trailed by sight for a long ways. Where else? Well, it's not that far where they've taken five or six lions out in the last two years in that bighorn sheep range. So it's a place to go, get the dogs out, ride the mule, enjoy nature. <laughs> yeah. And you never know. You never know till you go. I know one thing. I'm not going to trail a lion sitting on the couch. Might be able to watch it on TV or on YouTube or something like that. But not going to do it yourself. And those dogs aren't going to get in better shape. Their feet aren't going to get any tougher. They're not going to learn anything sitting out there in those kennels. Just got to get out. Got to get out and go. Try. Mule almost fell down there. Ah, there's the truck, right? Right down in there. Point seven five miles moving average 2.9 miles per hour moving time two hours stop time try hey get away from that stop time 26 minutes yeah that's about right elevation 4384 feet just enough to get the dogs out get the mule out get me out Uno's still out speaking of out a dog he reminds me so much of his uncle Blackie he's coming in Sometimes I wonder if it's all worth it, you know. It, I like to share what I do because I do it by myself most of the time. And, and this way I can, you guys kind of come with me. And uh, then I can read the comments, I can see the views and stuff. And, and it's like, I feel like I'm talking to some of you guys. So anyway, see this little thing right here, subscribe, little round thing. And then... Some more videos you can watch right here. And then crush that like button if you like the video. And comment down below. Like I said, thanks for watching, guys.